This bluff collapse at San Alejo Beach in Encinitas is the newest issue caused by the latest storm to hit San Diego. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Adam Rakusin in for Wale Aliyu. This on top of other sinkholes that have opened up across the county. The one on the left has led to road closures in Oceanside, and the one on the right in Vista forced dozens of people to evacuate their homes. That's where we find ABC 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt to kick off our coverage tonight. Kimberly. Thank you, Adam. I am live here on Sky Haven Lane in Oceanside, where a sinkhole right behind me formed this morning. After months of torrential rains, it is a seemingly common sight around the county these days. And right behind me is the Green Valley Mobile Home Park, where 12 homes had to be evacuated due to the damage. The Vista Fire Department says it's still looking into the cause, saying it's unclear if it was a damaged water line or stormwater drains. 17 people and several pets are now out of their homes here in the Green Valley neighborhood. Denise Doogie is one of those people, and she says that she woke up today, she heard water running outside her home. I went outside, I noticed that things were not right. There's a retention wall at the back of my mobile home. You can see that the earth is coming through the bricks. And the Vista Deputy Fire Chief estimates it will be a week before residents can get back into their homes. And emergency work is continuing right now on a sinkhole on State Route 78 between College Boulevard and El Camino Real in Oceanside. I passed the sinkhole and the work being done on the way to this sinkhole. And that's where we find ABC 10 News reporter Austin Grabish. And crews have been busy there all day, Austin. Kimberly, they are very busy and you can probably hear them working right now. We are up high, but they are down low, well below that freeway, and they are trying to go about 30 feet below the ground to get to a culvert that is believed to be plugged and causing issues here. And Caltrans tells us that um, these crews are, are going to be here until probably Saturday until they can get closer to that culvert. And in the meantime, all westbound lanes of the 78 are closed from College Boulevard to El Camino Real. And in fact, this is not the only road that has lanes closed today in San Diego County. Earlier today, I was in Del Mar close to the racetrack on a narrow residential road that is now down to just one lane. And the side of that road actually gave in after the rain we saw in the last couple of days crumbling down the cliff. And it actually exposed a sewer line and left part of the guardrail hanging quite the sight. Now, emergency crews were out all day trying to rebuild it layer by layer, almost like putting a sandwich together. And they told us that they hope to have that road repaired by tonight. But the city of Del Mar says now that might not happen till Saturday. And to get some context about what we are seeing on the roads with the sinkhole and the uh, cliff collapsing, I talked to Robert Hawk. He is a retired city geologist. And he tells me, well, he hasn't visited the two sites we went to today. He could talk in general terms about the problem. And he told me a lot of the issue actually has to do with old infrastructure in the ground. Take a listen to what he told me. Those steel pipes have exceeded their lifespan. Uh, where they have not been replaced, they tend to rust out. When we have large storms with a lot of water, that will go through the holes in that pipe and erode out the soil around it. And then those that erosion hole will reach to the surface and look like a sinkhole. And that geologist told me that all of the cities in San Diego actually have um, budgets to replace those pipes underground, but it is a very big job to do. And he says every time it rains or every time there's going to be a storm, we could see more of this happening with sinkholes developing and traffic being disrupted. Reporting live in Oceanside, Austin Gravish, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Austin. And you mentioned the sound right behind you. Uh, equally here is the sound of them breaking up the cement. But earlier, a bluff collapsed at San Alijo State Beach in Encinitas, and it happened just after 1 p.m. Firefighters say the collapse is 100 feet wide and 50 feet down. Fortunately, no one was hurt. California State Parks tells us the North Day Use Parking is closed as a precaution. Visitors are also being asked not to use the staircase to the North Beach area. 
For some expert perspective, earlier today, we spoke with geologist Dr. Pat Abbott, and we showed him video from inside and outside the mobile home park so that he could get an idea of the damage and what has happened right here at this area. He says, potentially, this is an even bigger issue than we've seen so far. I've seen just a few pictures of it, but from what I've seen, uh, it's either one of two things. It's either erosion, maybe a broken pipe underground has removed a lot of material and some ground is sinking, or that head scarf that you see up there in Skyhaven Drive, if that's actually the head of a landslide, then we have an even bigger problem. Haven't seen enough video yet or, or pictures to know for sure the difference, but definitely we're seeing more of this. Well, it's the cumulative effects, you know, this month after month after month, rain, rain, rain. Little things are growing bigger and bigger all the time, and now it's almost like an epidemic all across the uh, urban area here. Things failing under the onslaught of these uh, nonstop rains. Dr. Pat Abbott says this may be an issue where the ground on the bottom side actually slid first and then pulled down the sidewalk and the road right above it. That's what he says may have happened here. Two days ago at an Encinitas sinkhole, Dr. Abbott told me that he checked the roadways around that sinkhole. He was looking for cracks to see how the earth could possibly keep giving way. In that case, up in Encinitas, he told me the roads looked stable above that sinkhole, and that will clearly be done here as well as they try to find the cause. But Adam, for right now, I'm gonna send it back to you. Just some incredible images with that bluff collapse in the sinkholes. Thanks for your great reporting, Kim.